Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. We are looking at the new Winter Wildcards promo. Bit of a random one. Um, all over the place, we've got some very popular cards like a new version of Hullet. got CR7. We've got a goalkeeper, Van Nistelrooy. We've got a centre mid, Ian Rush. Pretty random promo in general. We're going to look through all the cards. As always, I'll rank them purely based on the card, not what I think of the chemistry. But obviously, if they do have good chemistry options, I am going to mention that as well. So we're just going to look at the players within the actual game um, and we'll search through them. So Marco Royce, we'll compare them as well to their other versions of cards. So Marco Royce, this is miles better than his other version. Is this Marco Royce any good? So they swap chip shot for first touch. Sure, that's nice. No five star. Um, pace is a bit meh. That's top speed's pretty crap. Um, physical's bad. Good shot. Good passing. Good dribbling. He's pretty good, but with no five star and pretty awful pace. But decent play styles. I'm gonna have him in B tier. If he had ninety pace, he'd probably be A tier. If he had a five star or even better play styles, he could be S tier. Let's look at Enzo Fernandez. Where is he? So, a big upgrade on his other card. Five-star weak foot. That's pretty nice on the midfielder for sure. Um, play styles, based on the same card, just relentless plus. Pretty good. I like that one. The rest of his play styles are pretty good. Um, very good. Like His passing says 87, but that vision looks short and longer by far the key ones. The average is like 93 there, so brilliant passing. Physical's very, very good. Defending's good. Dribbling's good. Uh, doesn't have a great shot. At this point, that's not slow, but not that quick. I'm going to have him A tier. If he had a much better shot and pace, then he'd be S tier. Um, four star skills would be nice, but not the end of the world. But that's a very good midfielder in general. Genie with Naldum. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Is this how you spell it? I don't think it is that, no. We'll put Widge and then see what comes up. But Georgina, that's it, yeah. Um, so compared to his other card, there's no more pace, but he's got 99 physical, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, very good on the ball. Uh, not very good, but good on the ball. Good defending. Passing's okay. Um, I'm going to have him seat it. He pretty much is awful in every area for the most part, except for physical. Um, I mean, he's okay, but other than physical, he's below par in pretty much every metric on this game. So, for me, not a particularly great card. Maybe a bit of a fun one, though. Patelas, 5-5 um, five, five again. So, two defending, two physical, one plus on everything else. Um, any difference on play styles? They swapped her playstyle plus for pa uh, for, for first touch Tiki Taka. Probably an upgrade, I would say. Um, and then they've given her a power shot as well. I mean, Patel's was already one of the best cards in the game. I don't think you'll notice much difference on the attribute side of things. Um, a playstyle's slight difference. I think this card obviously is a bit better, but don't think it really changes much. I will not personally be too bothered to go upgrade her. Okay, Bamba now. This is the uh, objective player. Let's have a look. Rapid play style plus. Not bad. Uh, quick step. 4-4. Four, four. Um, he's okay. Probably like beaten. Nothing too special about that card though. There's not been an objective player yet though that I've looked at. Like, yeah, I have to go do that one. But when would EA do that to be fair? Cristiano Ronaldo, decent upgrade on his other card. It's a plus three, and there's not big upgrades for the most part, except for the dribbling. This card should be a lot, lot better than the one. 99 composure is very nice as well. Uh, power shot, incisive pass. He's lost incisive pass, but gained technical and finesse shot. I also think power shot for attacker probably is a better play style. So the play styles on this one are a lot better. With how good a shoe it is, um, you're going to get very, very good. I'd probably put 100 as well. It's pretty quick. 
I mean, this card is going to be very, very good, and the extra dribbling should make him pretty good on the ball. Uh, I think he'll probably creep into the top 10 attackers in the game, maybe. Maybe top 15, but regardless, very, very good card. I'll be interested to see what his price sells at. Balde, already one of the best fullbacks on the game, I found. I really liked him. Maybe he just needed a stat boost. Uh, can this one play? Yeah, it can play right back, left back. Uh, ooh, whipped pass, intercept, rapid, relentless, and gold quick step. This guy can get anchor on him as well. He already felt physically pretty good, I felt, even with bad physical stats. Uh, yeah, this guy's going to be pretty crazy with an anchor as well. His stats might not look it, but the way he plays in game and how that big an upgrade that is, I'm going to have that card S tier. I think he'll be amazing. Martinelli SBC. Uh, didn't see how much it was going for yet, but we'll just look at the card. You'd probably put a Hawk on him with a Hawk. 91 finishing, 89 shot power. Decent physical, great on the ball. 5-4 uh, is pretty nice. Great play styles, but I think the attributes are lacking a bit to be a top, top tier attacker. But he is very good, so I'm going to have him A tier. Definitely not a bad card. Um, didn't look cheap, but didn't look crazy price either. Ian Rush been moved to centre mid. So he's lost a bit of pace, but gained a lot elsewhere. Uh, would have liked five star. Gold relentless. Rest of the play styles are pretty much identical. Uh, it's passing very good. Doesn't can't really do a chip through ball. That's a shame. Um, decent on the ball. <laughs> Ninety nine heading. Defender sets a bit weird. I go have him beat it. I think he's okay, but not a particularly brilliant card. Edda Militao. Let's have a look at you, mate. So, weirdly, Edda Militao doesn't have a playstyle plus on his other card. This one gets jockey and block. That's pretty nice. I've actually started to notice block being a bit more annoying to play against. Uh, Militao's already pretty good. Added a couple of playstyles and plus to him. Put him in S tier. Hullet was looking about 3 million from what I could see um, previously. Uh, how do I even look at this card? It's coming up under there. That's a bit weird. Um, compared to the other hull, it honestly it could be better with the play style. They've actually given this one pretty good play styles. Um, we're going to put him in the team here. Let's. Uh, it's probably going to say he's the same person, though, isn't it? Let's watch. Yeah. So stats-wise, he's not quite as good, but I wouldn't be doing this card for free mil, but I think as far as cards go, he probably is S2, but I don't think he's like crazy, crazy. I wouldn't pay what that uh, price is, though. That would be my opinion. Pele, uh, I mean, already crazy card. Giving him an upgrade, it'd be nicer. Probably putting a Hawk on him, I would say. Hawk maxes out all the shooting stats. Six physical on this card. Jeez, I didn't realise that at first. That extra six physical is pretty damn good. Uh, honestly, as well, with how hard it is to dribble around good players, I'd say gold quick steps plus. Uh, that Pele is going to be right up there for best attacker in the game. He's going to be insane. Probably will be an insane price as well. No five-star week for you. Morgan, I've said I wanted an upgrade on her. Is it much pace, though? Nope. Uh, so it's literally the same card with plus one or two across the board. Okie dokie. She's already amazing. She just needs the boost. Uh, disappointed though. I'd have liked to have seen a playstyle or two added. That's a bit of a lazy upgrade for me. I think she'll still be great though. Rafinha. Trickster for those crying out for that. Uh, pretty decent card. Oh, they've given him five star skills too. That's nice. Pretty good card. Put him in the A tier. Marco Van Basten. This looks an interesting card. So, not gained any pace. Lost quite a bit of shooting, but gained 16 passing. Very good passing. Not the best long pass there. Decent on the ball. Worst physical. 4 4. Pinged pass, interesting. Dead ball as well. Uh, pinged pass is actually a pretty good play style. Weird card that. 
don't think he's going to get much use. Probably going to be like B tier. Like the night too, like they have good stats, but they just don't have stats in the right areas for the most part. It's a bit weird. I don't don't really get what EA are trying to do with some of these cards, but I'll be interested in what price they set a lot. Fernando Torres. Five star skills on Torres. Interesting. Uh, same play stars, but gold quick step. Uh, so this Torres is probably more of a striker. This Torres is probably more of a winger. Um, I'm going to have him A tier, high A tier. I don't think he's far off S tier, but don't think he's an incredible card. I do prefer finesse, to be honest. Drogba, have the fixed his dribbling. So he's just much better physically, really. Five star weak foot, that's always huge. Not the best on the ball, but the weak foot's really big. Gold aerial's better than power header, in my opinion. Uh, being 6 2 will be a beast in the air. Hey, it's not a bad card. I'm going to have him A tier because of the weak foot. People might think, oh, he's going to have issues in other areas. He will, but that weak foot is genuinely a big deal. Van Nistel Roy and Net. Uh, don't really understand this one. Um, he's a 91, but his keeping stats are awful. I'm going to put like C to him. Don't really get what EA are trying to do there. How's he a 91 with no keeping stats even now when they're all like mid 80s? EA made a mistake there. Uh, then Michael Owen, gold technical, big upgrade on that card. Should have been a 4 4 or something though. Can't really pass. They've massively hurt his. What? So he's got better passing, but his shot's miles worse. Bit better driven. That's a weird card, that. Don't really like what they've done with some. I like that they're trying to change positions and do a few fun stuff, but for the most part, most of these. I thought I put him C to. Most of these cards are a bit weird. Annoyingly, the website I was using um, to make the tier list bugged out and didn't show me some of the other cards that were in the promo, but not finished the video yet. I've not uploaded it, obviously, until now. So I've still got time to be able to put some of the other cards in. So I've made sure I've done that quickly before we upload. Let's have a look at the other ones. Did think there seemed a few missing. Should have checked EA's tweet, obviously. Dybala, freestyle week for... Oh no. The Winter Wildcard one does have four star. Travella, definitely a better one. Um, Dabala, going to have him like low 80. He's actually a pretty good card, but um, normally lacks the weak foot. Grimaldo, interested to see that one. Dabala's a card who a player just always seems to get cards, by the way, every year on FIFA. Centre mid Grimaldo, but he can play left back. 4 free as well. Incisive pass. I'm going to have him beat it. I think he's got a lot of good stuff about him, but three-star weak for it. It'd have been a, um, a tier if he'd have had the four-star for me. Van Dijk. I've seen them change his position before, but not here. So they've given him Bruiser. Plus two pace on the gold. I think Bruiser is a pretty good one. I mean, he's obviously S tier. He's probably the best centre-back in the game. Anyway, so this one's... I don't think it's going to make him better or any worse, the play style, but I think as a general card, it's obviously insane. Shirky. Another Trickster, 5-5, five five, yep. Pretty good card. Great, crazy on the ball. Just lacks too many stats, though. Passing's not great, not quick, not good physical. But he's very good in some areas, so we have a B tier. Eze, very good player in real life. 
No weak foot, really. Decent addition on his place. 99 passing. Jeez. I mean, not good physical. Bad uh, passing, bad shot. Um, I'm going to have him like low B tier. The passing helps him out. Marcus Lorente. So compared to um, the evolution, he can't play right back. That's interesting. Five star weak foot, though. Incisive pass, tiki taka, whipped pass. Uh, can shoot really good. We're going to have him A tier. I think he's going to be a very annoying player to play against, though, when people just want to spam crosses. And then Gary Lineker, what are we getting from you, Gaza? Gold first touch. Some okay play styles. 4-4 four, is not bad. Again, probably just a B tier. A lot of mid B tier cards in this promo in general. Let me know what you think. We're going to move a few down, I think, here. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Keep it spicy. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.